These are the top six mega projects you should see. All the most interesting projects, cities of the future, luxurious islands, mega large ships and more. The first mega project, the line. The line is a civilizational revolution that puts humans first, providing an unprecedented urban living experience while preserving the surrounding nature. It redefines the concept of urban development and what cities of the future should look like. No roads, cars or emissions. It will run on 100% renewable energy and 95% of land will be preserved for nature. People's health and well-being will be prioritized over transportation and infrastructure, unlike traditional cities. Only 200 meters wide, the line will eventually accommodate 9 million people and will be built on a footprint of just 34 square kilometers. This will mean a reduced infrastructure footprint, creating never-before-seen efficiencies in city functions. The ideal climate all why? The line will tackle the challenges facing humanity and urban life today and will shine a light on alternative ways to live. We cannot ignore the livability and environmental crises facing our world cities, and Neom is at the forefront of delivering. The construction of Saudi Arabia's mega city project, the line, at Neom has begun in the northwestern Tabuk province of the country. First announced in 2017, Neom has consistently raised eyebrows for proposed flourishes like flying taxis and robot maids, even as architects and economists have questioned its feasibility. But now that the construction video has been released and the drone footage has captured a part of the massive site. The footage shows several trucks and machines working in the middle of the desert. The parallel structures of mirror and case skyscrapers extend over 170 kilometers, more than 100 miles, known collectively as the line. According to a news report by The National, Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman announced the designs of the line. It will be the first city in the world to be powered by renewable energy, including wind, solar, and hydrogen power. Residents of the line will live in interconnected societies run by artificial intelligence designed to coexist with nature. The futuristic development will prioritize walkability, clean energy and technology to create a new way of living. According to the NEOM website, the city is only 200 meters wide, but 170 kilometers long and 500 meters above sea level. There will be no roads, cars or emissions. It will run on 100% renewable energy and 95% of the land will be preserved for nature. People's health and well-being will be prioritized over transportation and infrastructure, unlike traditional cities, the official website said. Initial earthworks began in October 2021 and the first residents were expected to move in during 2024. As of July 2022, the first phase of the project was scheduled to be completed in 2030. Mega Project Number 2, Sindala Sindala, a luxury island destination in the Red Sea. Promising the finest experiences life has to offer, Sindala will be the first physical showcase of Neom, as our vision becomes a reality. An incomparable island destination, it will be an exclusive gateway to the stunning Red Sea. We will welcome the global yachting community, as well as visitors looking for exquisite luxury. A place where enhanced nature meets responsible design, advanced technology and inspirational architecture. With unforgettable experiences above and below the water and great connectivity to the nearby Mediterranean, in addition to spectacular golfing, Sindala will provide year-round delights thanks to its perfect climate. A special getaway filled with unforgettable sights, sounds and moments. A location powered by the world's latest tech and complemented by exhilarating natural beauty. Italian superyacht and architecture studio Luca Dini Design and Architecture has designed a luxury island resort in the Red Sea as part of the Neom project in Saudi Arabia. Set to welcome its first guests in early 2024, the Sindala Island Resort will be the first of 10 regions completed as part of the Neom mega development in northeastern Saudi Arabia. Described by Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman as the future of luxury travel, the 840,000 square meter island will be developed in a resort aimed at the yachting community. Designed by Luca Dini Design and Architecture, which is primarily known for designing superyachts, the resort will be built around a 86 berth marina and yacht club. Mega Project Number 3 Trojina Neom Trojina, all there is to know about the fantastic mountain destination your handy guide to the $500 billion city of the future. There's a new winter wonderland coming to the kingdom and it's not at Riyadh season. 
Neum's Trina will be an outdoor ski resort in Neum, Saudi Arabia. And the mega project will be the GCC's first outdoor ski resort with a man-made lake. Are you ready to hit the slopes? Trina S poised to be a new global destination for mountain tourism, and it will be a year-round tourist spot that offers unique wintry experiences that those in desert climates in the Gulf region would likely never have had before locally. Prep your ski jacket. The new development is part of the larger $500 billion Neum project. Visitors to Trujillo will be able to enjoy a ski village along with a range of sports, including a ski slope and mountain biking, as well as water sports. There will also be an area called the Vault, which will be a vertical village comprised of restaurants and retail stores for those looking to do a bit of shopping, as well as other facilities. Want to relax? Neum's Trujillo will have luxury wellness and family-friendly resorts, including the Bow Hotel. Luxury properties dubbed Slope Residences will also be part of the new Saudi development. That's not all though. If you're looking for a pretty epic staycation in Saudi, 25 Hours and Morgan's original hotels are two of the first lifestyle hotels to launch in Neum's Trujillo. The entire Trujillo area will be made up of six districts, Explore, Discover, Gateway, Valley, Relax, and Fun. Visitors will be able to go to each destination based on their mood and desired activities. If you are wondering just how all the fun in the snow will happen in the kingdom, Trujillo will be in the center of Neum where there are some of the highest peaks in Saudi Arabia at approximately 2,600 meters above sea level. The average temperature in the mountainous region is about 10 degrees Celsius cooler than other cities in Saudi Arabia, and it drops below zero degrees in the winter, making it an ideal spot for winter sports and activities. As with the larger Neum project, Trujillo construction is in line with Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 goals. The new tourism site will combine environmental sustainability with economic and community development. By 2030, it is anticipated that the venture will bring 10,000 jobs and will generate SAR 3 billion for the kingdom. Mega Project Number 4, Pangios. Pangios is a turtle-shaped floating city swimming into Saudi. The Terriot will be the biggest floating structure in the world. Saudi is hopefully getting a turtle-shaped floating city called Pangios. Get ready for the major under-the-sea vibes. The $5 billion Terriot will be the largest floating structure ever built and it will be capable of holding 60,000 people. Pangios is designed by Italian design studio Lazzarini and gets its name from Pangaea, the supercontinent that during the Paleozoic and Mesozoic eras. Pangios will effectively be a yacht city with it measuring 610 meters at its widest point. That is one supersized turtle. The turtle-shaped yacht will have villas, shopping and even a beach club. The one-of-a-kind floating city will have 19 villas and 64 apartments located on each turtle foot. You'll be able to enjoy a rooftop garden and even a mall, yes, shoppers you'll be covered. The city will consist of nine bows each divided into various blocks beginning at the entrance of the port leading to the main area that will further extend into the terraced villas paving way to the private houses, buildings and rooftop terraces. It will also house an upper turtle shell zone acting as a landing base for flying vehicles. The future is definitely here. Given that we're speaking about Turtle Super Yacht, it is designed to sail around the world stop free but it has been proposed for Saudi. Additionally, this is a properly green turtle with green energy supplies. Pangios will draw power from the ocean waves and solar panel roofs. Are you ready to dive in? Pangios thankfully isn't moving at a tortoise pace. It is estimated that the mega project will be completed within eight years. Mega project number five, Oxagon. Saudi Arabia's giga projects never fail to wow us. To prove the point, HRH Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman announced plans to build a carbon emissions-free industrial city, floating, on the Red Sea as part of the Neom Mega Project. The project, dubbed Oxagon, will feature a port and a logistics hub, and plans to be the largest floating industrial complex in the world. Neom stated in a release that it will be a comprehensive cognitive city, focused on robotics and artificial intelligence. Announced in 2017, Neom is the crown jewel of Prince Mohammed bin Salman's program to overhaul the economy of the world's largest oil exporter. 
His plan to turn the remote region on the kingdom's northwest Red Sea coast into a robot-driven tech hub encapsulates the major elements of his Saudi Vision 2030 to diversify away from crude, loosen social restrictions and boost investment. When Prince Mohammed announced Niam, it was originally framed as a $500 billion investment. Niam will also build a car-free 170-kilometer, 105-mile, linear city called the Line as its centerpiece. Nadmi Al Nasser, CEO of Neom, says, through Oxagon, there will be a fundamental shift in how the world views manufacturing centers. What encourages us is to see the enthusiasm of a number of our partners who have shown eagerness to start their projects in Oxagon. These pioneers of change will establish factories, developed with the latest technologies in artificial intelligence, to achieve a significant leap for this era into the fourth industrial revolution. As with the line, Oxagon will be a comprehensive cognitive city that provides exceptional livability for its residents. Planners want the city to be 100% powered by renewable energy and to focus on sustainable energy, autonomous mobility, water innovation, sustainable food production, health and well-being, technology and digital manufacturing. We can't wait to float away. Mega Project Number 6, Shebera Resort. Shebera Resort is a new futuristic resort opening soon as part of the Red Sea Giga project. The Outer Space Hotel is scheduled to open in 2024 and promises to offer otherworldly views in the best way. Curious about what's in store, while full details have yet to be revealed, the luxury resort will run on renewable energy and consist of metal orb-shaped villas. Shebera Resort is an off-grid, zero-energy and zero-water development focused on sustainable designs of hospitality. The Overwater Villa Resort will have 73 floating pods and will have a centralized solar farm with fresh water supplied from a solar-powered desalination plant covering over 140 guests and 260 staff needs including transportation. You'll need to buckle up those seatbelts and climb abroad a seaplane to get to the luxury float your pod destination. Take your pick between a water villa or sink your toes into the sandy beach villa options. Dive into an infinity pool or put on your snorkeling gear and become one with the sea, while enjoying the untouched marine ecosystem. Keep your eyes out for turtles. The Red Sea is also welcoming over 45 luxury hotels into the mix including the Grand Hyatt Hotel opening super soon and luxury wellness resort Miraville the Red Sea. You can also stay at 14 astounding hotels in Saudi soon, from desert escapes to icy slopes. We've also got a turtle-shaped floating city swimming into the kingdom as well as a seahorse-shaped island. Thank you for watching the video. If you don't want to miss a new video, subscribe to the channel.